good morning students today our topic is language lab the topics that we will discuss today under this uh, language lab are what is a language lab what are the objectives to use language lab importance of a language lab at school and merits of a language lab and the merits of a language lab so first of all we need to know what is a language lab uh, as we all know that there are four pillars of language learning speaking listening reading and writing and we talk about the correct order first we listen to the language then we start speaking and then reading and writing but that takes place only in the case of the native language that means the first language of uh, our country or the first language of uh, the person uh, and but uh, when we talk about learning second language in that situation this order actually uh, sometimes uh, changes first we read and write and then we focus on listening and speaking skill so this is the drawback and that is why uh, most of the students in india are not able to uh, speak properly and they are not able to communicate properly so to develop uh, the listening and speaking aspect of a language of english language uh, we have a provision of language laboratory so this language laboratory is set is to be set up in a school or uh, even in the teacher training institute also so that the pupil teacher can be trained uh, how to use a language lab so that they can um, use that language lab in um, their schools respective schools where they are working so a language lab basically what actually is a language lab so the language lab is a room or a lab that is set up in a school and it is basically set up to learn a foreign language so uh, for for uh, all of us uh, we actually learn english as a second language as a foreign language so to learn english uh, this kind of lab is set up in a school and uh, uh, here the student jo hai they can develop their speaking and listening skill because reading and writing skill the teacher gives lot and lot of practice in the classroom where each and every student read and write lot or uh, lot and lot of work but uh, they lack in speaking and listening skill so uh, speaking means when they are able to communicate they are able to express themselves to others and listening means uh, they should be able to listen with understanding what they are listening they must get the meaning of what they are listening so the, the, in language lab there is a provision of developing speaking and listening skill let us move to the next slide so what is the objective of a language lab why such kind of lab is set up in schools uh, as i talked to you earlier as i discussed earlier first of all the purpose is to introduce listening and speaking skill in addition to reading and writing skill in the school so listening and speaking skill can be enhanced using this language uh, right and to practice and assess speech in a language the student get lot and lot of practice and they can uh, assess their performance uh, assess their speech performances in this lab and how they do it they listen to the model pronunciation some recordings are there they listen to them and they repeat those recordings and uh, they uh, record that same and they do the self assessment assessment where uh, they had committed mistake how what were actually the words uh, they did not pronounce properly and what are the corrections that are required this person uh, himself or herself uh, self assess his or her performance and uh, here is a provision that the student because they are separated with different different cabins they uh, so they can learn at their own space uh, in the uh, classroom there is a drawback that uh, the students uh, uh, the teacher are not, is not able to focus on each and every student so the performance of uh, um, all the students are not uh, developed because some are slow learner some are fast learner so here in that case the slow learners jo uh, hai they actually Mm, are not able to get the full advantages of the classroom but in in this kind of classroom in this kind of lab each and every student learns at his own pace nobody is going to disturb uh, next is what is the importance of a language as i discussed earlier one person uh, a person practice at his own pace pace means the speed at his own speed and uh, the person identifies the uh, problem areas and that is more stressed by the teacher as well as the student and the student uh, develop their language systematically they do get to advance systematically and uh, nobody is there to interrupt them so they do not feel shy and lot and lot of practice sessions um, 
can be organized so it is good and the student get a reinforcement by listening to their own recording they can, they get reinforcement where they were lacking and then the feedback is also provided through continuous assessment so many assessment exercises are given to the student and they learn uh, through playway method so what are the components how the language lab is set up in a uh, institute or in a school uh, three things are need to be considered first is the hearing booth there must be 16 to 20 booths with table with seats and with recording equipments or uh, with the computers and uh, they all these must be soundproof compartment and they all are called cubicles and they are basically hearing booths where the list student listen to what is being uh, sent to them to listen and each cubicle is con connected with the console console means it is the instructor or the teachers booth right and every student is provided microphone headphone and recorder and in this console the learner receives the language teaching program which is actually being designed and selected by the teacher herself second thing is the console console is actually the room or the instructor's room uh, or the teacher's room who, the person who is uh, you know teaching the language to the student so this is that room the consoles room jo hai, it considers uh, master tapes hote hai, usme distributions which is master tapes se wo monitor kar sakta hai two way communication distribution switches se jo bhi program recorded hai usko sare learners tak provide kar sakta hai monitoring switch se wo har ek student ki performance ko monitor kar sakta hai har ek student ko correct karwa sakta hai usko advise kar sakta hai evaluate kar sakta hai ki wo apne aap ko kahan par correct kar sakegi फिर uh, इंटरकॉम स्विचेस भी होते हैं इसमें ताकि अगर किसी इंस्ट्रक्टर uh, को किसी पर्टिकुलर स्टूडेंट से फ़ोन के थ्रू बात करनी है तो इंटरकॉम स्विचेस से बात करेगी और अदर स्टूडेंट्स की परफॉर्मेंस uh, या अदर स्टूडेंट्स की लर्निंग वहाँ डिस्टर्ब नहीं होगी और uh, इसमें ग्रुप कॉल स्विचेस भी होते हैं इसमें uh, एक टीचर अगर कुछ ग्रुप्स बना सकता है क्योंकि मैंने आपको बताया सोलह से बीस ग्रुप्स हैं सोलह से बीस स्टूडेंट्स एक बार में बैठ सकते हैं तो उसमें चार बच्चों का चार चार बच्चों के ग्रुप्स बना सकते हैं और हर एक ग्रुप को अगर कॉल करना है तो ग्रुप कॉल में उन स्टूडेंट्स uh, को ऐड किया जा सकता है और ऑल कॉल स्विचेज में टीचर जो है अगर हर एक स्टूडेंट से बात करना चाहती है तो इसका यूज़ करती है तीसरा होता है कंट्रोल रूम कंट्रोल रूम में सारे टेप सारे रिकॉर्ड सारा का सारा रिकॉर्ड मेंटेन होता है हर स्टूडेंट की रिकॉर्डिंग होती है हर स्टूडेंट के जो है जो सीरीज में वो अपना रिकॉर्ड मेंटेन कर रहे हैं वो होता है और जो मास्टर टेप्स हैं वो होते हैं और इसके अलावा भी माइक्रोफोन्स वगैरह एडिशनल इक्विपमेंट्स वहाँ पर अवेलेबल होते हैं ताकि अगर किसी को कभी ज़रूरत हो तो वो वहाँ से ले सकता है राइट right? सो so, अगर हमें लैंग्वेज लैब को अच्छे से उसमें एक्टिविटीज़ कंडक्ट करानी है तो वो क्या क्या करना चाहिए सबसे पहले हमें आइडेंटिफाई करनी चाहिए स्टूडेंट्स की प्रॉब्लम को किस बच्चे को कहाँ पर प्रॉब्लम है और कहाँ पर प्रैक्टिस की रिक्वायरमेंट है देन हमें एक करेक्ट टाइप की ड्रिल को फ्रेम करना चाहिए बनाना चाहिए और उसी को ही चूज़ करके अकॉर्डिंगली स्टूडेंट्स को असाइनमेंट्स या टास्क देने चाहिए एंड जो भी बच्चा काम कर रहा है उसका रिकॉर्ड टेप या सी में किसी भी फॉर्म में मेनटेन किया जा सकता है आई एम सॉरी और रिकॉर्डिंग्स को भी बच्चा अपनी रिकॉर्डिंग अपने लेवल पर अपने डेस्क पर भी बना सकता है और स्टूडेंट भी टीचर भी उसकी रिकॉर्डिंग जो है अपने पास देख सकता है सुन सकता है उसको और उसकी रिकॉर्डिंग को चेक कर सकता है और एंड इस तरह से उसको इवेलुएट कर सकता है तो यानी कि हर बच्चे की प्रॉब्लम को हमें चुनना है उसके बाद उसको क्या ड्रिल चाहिए क्या एक्सरसाइज चाहिए वो देंगे हम उसके टेप्स उसकी सीरीज ये सब हम देखेंगे Uh, कि उसने बने हैं या नहीं बने हैं बनवाएंगे और रिकॉर्डिंग्स को भी हम बनवाएंगे उसके बाद उनकी रिकॉर्डिंग चेक करेंगे और जहाँ कोई कमी है उसको हम बच्चे को करेक्शंस अपने करने के लिए बोलेंगे इसके फ़ायदे बहुत हैं स्टूडेंट अच्छी प्रोनाउंसिएशन सीखता है क्योंकि वो नेटिव स्पीक नेटिव स्पीकर को सुनता है कहते हैं ना कि अगर किसी को हिंदी सीखनी है तो इंडिया में आए उसी तरह से अगर किसी को इंग्लिश सीखनी है तो वहाँ के लोगों का जो रिकॉर्डिंग्स है उनको सुने ठीक है और तो लेट ताकि वो बच्चा क्या कर सकता है उसे जो करेक्ट मॉडल ऑफ स्पीकिंग है करेक्ट प्रोनाउंसिएशन है उसको बच्चा समझ पाता है और अपने एरर्स को इजीली डिटेक्ट कर सकता है क्योंकि वो कंपैरिजन करता है अपनी स्पीकिंग uh, को जो उसने रिकॉर्ड की है विद द जो नेटिव स्पीकर की रिकॉर्डिंग वो सुन रहा है तो अपनी गलती उसको खुद मिल जाती है अपनी पेस से सीखता है अपनी स्पीड से सीखता है और जितनी मर्जी टाइम वो उसको uh, जो है जब उसको लगता है ज़रूरत महसूस होती है ही कैन you know repeat the same and can uh, go for lot and lot of practice as he desires 
bachcha feel the student feels free and confident gets more time for practice than in the classroom kyunki classroom mein har teacher pe itna dhyan nahi diya ja sakta hai to wo practice apne space se apne according kar sakta hai aur native language ka zyada exposure usko mil jata hai kyunki bahut sare recording alag alag tarah ke recordings wo sunta hai and wo ek active listener bhi ban jata hai active listener ka matlab hai मैंने फिर आपको बता रही हूँ कि लिसनर का मतलब है कि जो हमारे ईयर्स तक पहुँच रहा है हम उनको समझ सकें उनको अंडरस्टैंड कर सकें राइट तो ये बिकम्स एन एक्टिव लिसनर एंड द स्पीकर इन द लैंग्वेज लैब दे आर सर्टेन डी मैरिट्स फर्स्ट है कि रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग स्किल देर इज़ नो स्कोप फॉर डेवलपिंग दीज स्किल्स इन द लैंग्वेज लैब वी एक्चुअली फोकस ऑन स्पीकिंग एंड लिसनिंग स्किल and if we have a group of 20 students so that becomes very difficult to accommodate all the student in that uh, in that language lab because uh, there is a provision that maximum 16 to 20 students should be there next uh, is the competent native speaker speeches are rarely av rarely available we are having a dearth of the uh, original native speakers speeches so we need to collect them right it is a difficult task and in the rural school uh, st installation of language lab is very difficult and costly because uh, india is uh, uh, not a developed country it is developing so we are lacking in resources also so in that situation uh, it is not uh, feasible not easy for developing language lab yes our government is uh, trying a lot trying hard to develop such kind of labs uh, gradually will improve in this situation and then uh, the efficient teachers who can exploit the full possibilities of language lab are rare we have we are Uh, lacking in the expertise of using language lab so this was all about language lab please like share and subscribe if you like the video thank you